All right, guys. So we got Charlie Kirk of Turning Point USA uh, giving us his usual evangelical Christian spiel. You know, a few years ago, he was very kind of still an evangelical, but kind of big tent secularism within his movement. And, um, you know, he was sprinkling some anti-atheism stuff here and there, but it was definitely way, way less in comparison to how it is now. Um, and of course, there is this video that's on the Turning Point YouTube channel. It's one of his old little uh, statements. It takes more faith to be an atheist. He told me that years ago. Um, but let's see what Charlie has to say this time uh, on the matter, and we'll go over that. I seem rather fired up. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. What's your name? I'm Opal. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. What do you want to talk about? What do you believe? I don't know. What do you believe in? Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah! Uh, uh, just right out the gates, uh, you know, to to Charlie's credit and to the credit of, of some of the, the Christians that are around him, you know, he's able to easily state what he believes in right off the bat. She says, oh, I don't, I don't know, kind of in this weak kind of form. So you already can kind of tell why this is now a viral video. If, you know, I was scrolling down here, 249,000 views. We're not even getting into the meat of this yet. But you can already tell the setup of, of why this became the, the video amongst the supporters that it is. Yeah. Do you expect when for you to yeah. say that that I'm gonna disrespect you because of your religion? No, no, I just uh, I don't know your religious views. I could guess. So, so you know the thing I've noticed about Charlie, Charlie Kirk, and and so, some other people is that you know what Charlie was just stating was a fact of what he believes. So he believes in Jesus Christ as the Lord, right? That's a fact of his. The, uh, the fact of how he is a Christian, that is a tenant of Christianity. It's not a fact of the reality of the universe, the cosmos, Jesus being some supernatural uh, entity, some Lord and Savior. But, but, um, but still, you can see the way that, that, that answer, the tone of voice that, that is kind of conveyed. Um, so, so, you know, keep that in mind, too. But I don't know. I'm not religious. I don't have a founder religion yet. Oh, okay. Unless you want to recommend something to me. I recommend Christianity. It's okay, pretty so awesome. Like, okay. I'm so shocked. So shocked that he'd recommend Christianity. Uh, a Bible. Uh, you could download the Bible app. No, but I want it from you. you no. Know so Sorry. Yeah. I want it from you. You know so much. Maybe, maybe the Turning Point Bible. Maybe that'll eventually, eventually come out. You know, I'm saying this poking fun. I, I was part of a Turning Point chapter years ago in college. Whole... Again, big tent thing, um, but I would not be su surprised with the whole direction that TPUSA is going in, that they'll they'll come out with a Turning Point Bible. I know very little, but... You got this big ass head, but I, I do have a big head. Yeah. Do you have a Bible? No. You don't have anything to tell me? Where, where do you think you go when you die? Um, nowhere, like nothing does. Why do you believe that? Because that's science. Science tells you... Yeah, there is no evidence that we go to some magical heavenly place you know, when we die, right? Christians are making the positive assertion that, you know, when you die, you meet, uh, you go to the pearly gates, um, you, you, you end up being in this amazing paradise, or you go to hell, or you, you know, for some, you know, uh, depending on the denomination, you know, there's purgatory, right? Those are all positive, supernatural claims based on ancient Mediterranean scriptures and books, and stuff that was spread throughout medieval Europe, you know? Uh, it takes more faith to be an atheist than a Christian. Mm, I don't know about that. I think her way of answering this stuff is weak. Again, it's why this video is viral, but you know, just another thing I'm noticing here. You go nowhere when you die. Okay, well, can you explain to A thousand different pieces of evidence to show people have afterlife experiences okay. in just the last decade. Okay. Every real, every... So... I know that there are various claims that have been made by that. You'll have a lot of sources that'll say, you know, there's certain uh, just brain receptors and chemical reactions. Also, if you actually research a few of these accounts of people's supernatural, like afterlife experiences, um, supernatural type afterlife experiences, they're all different experiences, 
right? If there is one afterlife, one correct religion, one correct god or set of gods, you would think the story would be semi-similar. The setting, the infrastructure of whatever this afterlife is would be kind of similar, right? But what Charlie's trying to do is he's trying to state a few different scientific facts about people's brain chemistry, but then use that to justify something that I totally is not based in fact. Hence why Christians and all kinds of theists have faith, right? It's not something that they can factually state is real. You have to have faith to believe that this supernatural stuff is actually real. Civilization and history of the world is believed in an afterlife oh, yeah. for a god. Oh, yeah. Why? Doesn't mean that there's any proof of that stuff. We believed in a lot of wrong things in our past. A science right now and everyone else is wrong. Because they didn't have the science and the modern technologies that we have now. So what discovery has disproven the afterlife? Uh -huh. What discovery has proven the afterlife? What discovery has proven the afterlife, Charlie? It's, it's not up to us atheists to say that something that humans have created based off of fairy tales is not true. Because you, you can't disprove that automatically. Um, I, I could say there's a visible floating dragon above me in the studio right now. Does that mean that dragon is true? Is it up to you to try to prove to me that the dragon is not real? Is it up to me, the person making that positive assertion, to explain why I'm not just having faith that there could be some dragon? I'm just not believing that there's some dragon, that there actually is some invisible dragon uh, that we can't visibly see that's above me. Charlie is a good communicator. Charlie knows this stuff, especially when he combats woke ideology, plenty of different woke beliefs. He uses a lot of the same epistemological um, type tactics that rational atheists use. But when it comes to his faith, when it comes to Christianity, oh, no, 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 ignore that. Just listen to my regurgitated talking points. Probably scientific, but no one can actually confirm because unless you're coming back to life, then nobody can confirm that yet. So you can't disprove it. And you can't prove it either. So it takes faith. Yeah. I have faith. Yeah, and I don't. And you know what? If you think that that's going to happen, then that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Charlie has faith. He does not have faith in that. So this is what, like, the, the whole time, it takes more faith to be an atheist than a Christian. Um, no. It doesn't take faith at all to be an atheist. I think it takes reason to be one. And I know it sounds very cookie cutter for people that have seen atheist YouTube videos a million times. It's still true. I'm not so, mad at you for so that. how did the world come into existence? The Big Bang. So, so the Big Bang. So so so, who, so the Big Bang made space, time, and matter. Yeah. What started the Big Bang? No one knows. Not God. Well, but the, the laws of physics mean that she has every right to say she doesn't know, and she's correct in saying she doesn't know. But we, the atheists, we, the agnostics, we, the non-religious people, we have the courage to say we don't know that we don't have every answer. We're not stating a bunch of answers that you can clearly tell are fairy tale based. I'm stating the same words over and over again, but it's because I'm trying to make a point here. He's just very good at explaining his faith, mixing in the brain chemistry stuff or whatever to make it look like, ah, I'm the factual one. You are the college student that really doesn't know much. And therefore, I'm feeding you the real facts. Uh if you believe in the Big Bang... You say there's a lot of different things, but why does it always have to come back to God? Well, whatever you can call it, you can call it the idea of God. But if you believe in the Big Bang... Which Notice what Charlie said there. This is how you know Charlie knows that he doesn't have any facts to actually back, back it up. He's saying the idea of God. He's stating a bunch of things. He's trying to promote his brand. Say you did, it means that space, time, and matter had a beginning, which means that something made that beginning happen. Do you believe in the Big Bang happening? Or do you yes, think I believe God started the Big Bang. He spoke it into existence. At least he's saying believe. At least he's saying believe there. But again, doesn't take more faith to be an atheist than a Christian, Charlie. Well, because look, the first words of my Bible are the same of your view okay. in the beginning. Okay. Big Bang was the beginning. I believe in a Big Bang. Okay. So maybe God made it happen. Or, but what's your explanation? I don't have an explanation because I don't study science. So look at Charlie's face like, oh, perfect for the cameras. Perfect for the cameras. And I got to admit, 
you know, she's not the best representative of atheism. She's she's not the best representative of non-religiosity. She is not learned in this stuff. I think it's always important to continuously read, to continuously absorb more information. But you know, this this was perfect for Charlie's brand for this idea that atheism bad is bad, Christianity's good. It takes more faith to be an atheist than a Christian. It's just it's just one of those those moments that he can he can um, have to market. To his people um but of course this is this is the type of stuff that we need to debunk this is the kind of stuff that we as an educational organization do uh this is the type of stuff where if you see an actual rational atheist from a good scientific place um who who has rational views when they confront the charlie kirks of the world charlie can't actually really defend his points well imagine charlie kirk going up against uh, Richard Dawkins. Imagine Charlie Kirk going up against Sam Harris. Imagine Charlie Kirk going up against Heather McDonald. Imagine Charlie Kirk going up against Yasmin Muhammad. Men, women, people from various different um, atheistic, uh, non-religious backgrounds. Um, you know, it, it, this is just marketing. But we have to debunk this marketing, and we do it all uh, within this organization. So if you like um, what you're seeing here, guys, little little clips and videos here and there, just to show how how nutty this is and how more of us really need to speak up about it. Subscribe to this channel. Follow us on social media, depending on where you are seeing this. And we will see you next time.